We've got to talk. Maybe another time. I've uh, got to study. <sighs> Lucas, listen. You and I have been through a lot. Now, whatever's going on in your head about me, don't let it hurt Josie. She's in trouble. But she needs our help. Everything was going according to plan until the camera flew into Josie's mouth. Now we have less than an hour to neutralize it. Otherwise, there is so much that you have done wrong here, starting with using deception to get to Tyler. However, recriminations can wait for later. Right now, we have to figure out how to get the camera out of Josie. It left her stomach a few minutes ago. Now it's zipping through her bloodstream like a Ferrari. You say she's in detention with Tyler? Yep. I'll go get her out. I don't think that's such a good idea, Professor Z. I, uh, I told Lucas what happened. I thought we should all work on this together. <laughs> Does this mean you're back in the science club? Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. That's great, Lucas. And I thought of a way to destroy the camera before it expands. Tyler, Josie, I need to return these papers to Principal Durst. I expect you both to stay in your seats and keep working quietly. Anything you say, Miss Dubin. Hey, Trent. Seeing how we're both in the same club now, you wouldn't mind doing me a favor, right? I gotta duck out for a few minutes. If Miss Dubin gets back before I do, tell her I went to the bathroom. Where are you really going? Just cover for me, okay? Hey, this being the science club stuff is working out pretty good, huh? A few years ago, my dad had a kidney stone. Really nasty thing. It's like a pebble that grew in his kidney and got stuck. The doctors broke it apart with sound waves so it could pass easily through my dad's system. Excellent, Lucas. Sound waves at the correct frequency don't harm people at all. It's called extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy. And last year when we did our unit on sonograms, you demonstrated with a sound generating wand. Which I still have. Guys, how do we even know this will work? We'll have to experiment. With the one nano item we have left, the laptop computer. I've got to see where it goes for myself. What do you think? Let's find out. Vaughn? Well, the laptop's in pieces. <laughs> and it didn't expand, which means. It worked. We can save Josie. Now all we have to do is get her here, use the monitor to determine the location of the camera inside her body. We can destroy it. Lucas, you're a genius. Hey, guys. What's going on with the monitor? It's not the monitor. It's the camera. The reception's fading, but there's still battery power. It's moving out of range. Josie must have left the detention room. I have a portable monitor. We'll know she's close when we get the signal back. <laughs> They're both gone. She went out the window. She must be following Tyler. The sonogram wand is electrical. We need to get her back here or I can't use it to save her. There isn't any time. Have the wand ready. We'll meet you in the science room. Marshal, hurry. Head to the woods. Oh, oh Professor Zachary. Wow. Miss oh. Dubin. I have two students in detention. They're not supposed to have any visitors. Visitors? I'm not a visitor. I was looking for a book. With that? With this? Yes, with this. This is the book finder that I developed. A book finder? Well, books or magazines, uh, and really any written material. I, I'll show you. Watch. I can set it for test papers. Ooh. Now watch. There you go, test papers. It works. I got to get this baby down to the patent office. So uh, you have a good day, Miss Dubin. <laughs> Professor Zachary.
signal's getting stronger. We've got to be close. Where could she have gone? We're out of time. Jesse! Don't! You'll give her away to Tyler. We have no choice. Jesse! Tyler. Jesse! Josie, there you are! What are you guys doing here? Let Come go on. of me! I was following Tyler. The nano camera. You swallowed it by accident. What? It's lodged in one of your lungs. We have to get her back to Z. There's no time. So what are we going to do? Yeah. Lucas, so what are you doing? The camera is in your lungs. You have allergies? A big enough sneeze should force the camera out of her lungs. Lucas, that's brilliant! <laughs> Look, guys, I... Lucas, thanks. I understand. I'll be ready. Where is he going? The other side. I never did get a straight answer out of Tyler. I think he was waiting for me to tell him the truth, and I was waiting for him. We were both playing games. I guess trying to fool him wasn't exactly the best strategy. But now that he knows, there's no telling what he'll do next. Well, at least you're all right. <laughs> Thanks to my boy Lucas here. I'm just glad everything worked out. Does this really mean that Tyler's got to be in the science club? Didn't you hear? Tyler was offered a very prestigious student internship, a place called the Avenir Institute. He'll be gone for the rest of the term. All right. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, at least when he was here, we could keep tabs on him. Mr. Jessup, I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to have been selected for this internship. Oh, I do, Principal Durst. I want you to promise me that you'll work hard and make us all proud. I will. And don't forget your friends here at Blake Holsey. Oh, don't worry, Principal Durst. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>